previously on Phalus. Is that really what the show's called? Whatever. Anyway, previously on Phalus. Phalus used to die a lot at the end of his reviews, then come back with no clear reason why until he finally got killed for realsies and had to regenerate into himself. After which a bunch of other not very interesting things happened, like Phalus getting trapped in a time loop forever. But forever isn't forever, and Phalus went on until getting shot by stock footage and turning into one of his friends until he came back wearing a coat and hat, allowing himself to turn back into himself forever. But even that couldn't last forever, as Phalus saw his evil reflection in the mirror take a bunch of pills causing him to turn into a cat. Wow. This is either just ridiculously silly or brilliantly pretentious. Really, it sounds like something I should be reviewing. Hmm. Hey, Phalus, do you mind if I review your show? Sure thing, Kyle, but only if you feed me and change my litter. No, I'm not changing your litter. I'm talking to a cat. Well, this won't do at all. Good thing I can solve this with a garlic sandwich from Baldrick X Machina. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, I'm me again. Did you just solve the whole Phalus turns into a cat thing with a deus ex machina? A deus ex machina which is also an in-joke? Nope, sure didn't! Doop de doo Thanks, Lupa. And oh, Ralph Owen Citizen, it's nice to have a cameo from you! Ralph Owen Citizen? No, just, just, just no, no. But that's what your IMDB page said your name was! Right, and IMDb always has everything 100% correct, right? Enjoying your $5,000 budget, Phalus? No! Everyone else on the site has a pretend higher budget than me! <laughs> so, um, about me reviewing your show, I was wondering if- Oh, wait just a second there, Kyla. I've got something I gotta take care of. Well, now that I'm back, I have big plans for you, Phalus! <laughs> uh -huh. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't believe that you just came up and shot me! Uh-huh, well there's no point in dragging this out. But I had so many things planned! Like I was gonna send you to another dimension and then turn your show into a romantic comedy review show! <sighs> Why are you alive? I'm not alive! You've killed me! <laughs> oh yeah, you are dead now, aren't you? Cool. There we go, storyline all taken care of. You are saying? You just went and shot him? That's the whole resolution? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is just beyond contempt, and I want no part of this. Okay, bye Kyle Citizen. That's not how the name goes either. Creeper, creeper, where'd you get those creepers? Hush, 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 here comes the bogeyman. Don't let him come too close to you, he'll catch you if he can. Just pretend. Welcome back, I'm Fail Whatever, and welcome to another video in my Let's Review series. Today, let's review Here Comes the Boogeyman, which was just a working title for Jeepers Creepers. Cowabunga Creepers starts off with a brother and sister driving, which is something they do for most of the film's runtime. Spoilers! And there's that one tree. Car while we were inside of the movie. That's right. Oh, right, because it wouldn't make sense if we could still hear them when the car's below that hill like that. Anyway, we've got good old Justin Long in his best role ever. This is, of course, before Drag Me to Hell and playing Alvin and Alvin and the Chipmunks the Squeakquel. But really, here at least he seems to be awake compared to his role in Drag Me to Hell. His sister Trish is played by Gina Phillips, who's been in... stuff I don't really care about. She wasn't in Seventh Heaven, though, so that's the important thing. Come on, Derry. Derry? What, is he gonna tell us to get milk or join the Greasers to fight the Socias? Yay, gay fever! That's three for little bro! That's a six, not a G, you idiot. That's sexy forever, that's mine. That's five to two. How the hell do you get either of those? Besides, five is S, not six. Don't you know Leet speak? Oh, and it's old people driving this RV. Why, they aren't sexy forever. <laughs> now, there's usually a reason when you like the long way home. Maybe I like the country? If it's your car and your idea to go the long way, why aren't you driving? Trisha, why are you driving home for spring break with your brat brother? 
and not heading off somewhere with that nice Mr. Polly sidetrack team guy. I will tell them the exact same thing I'll tell you. None of your goddamn business. But you don't think I can understand the complex nature of your relationships? No, I look at you as a real expert. You want in the back way home. That's 10 hours of preachers, farm reports, and country. Could you possibly just shut up and drive, please? Well, the lovely whining gets interrupted when the Jeepers Creepers mobile comes up lacking proper road etiquette and just plain being rude. You know, I like to imagine this Jeepers Creepers thing not only driving in the first pillars again. In Britain! Yep, cool to yell that after they're out of range, and if they did hear you, that'd likely send them back to run you off the road. Either way, SMRT. I used to think this was the highway I would die on. So you chose the long way back on a road you used to imagine you'd die on. I didn't know it was so hard to write characters with just a little bit of sense. All it would have taken was them being forced to take this road, her saying she doesn't like it, and then it also makes sense that Derry is driving her car. There's a license plate on the van we just saw. Beating you! That's mine! That's three to five! Oh you can't shit! Call it now. My ass! You have to call it when you see it. I was in shock! <laughs> What, is this a brand new rule, huh? It's not a new rule. It's always been this way. Since when? Since always. Why? Memories for shit. No, it's not. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. 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 Infinity. Squared. Oh yeah, I remember saying stupid things like whatever squared or times infinity in junior high. Next scene, they are pissing and still talking about their damn license plate game. Trisha apparently just realized that Derry has stinking laundry in the car because it didn't smell until the camera seen it. And then they do some more awesome character development. Mama's boy. Daddy's whore. Dick liquor. Ball sniffer. Ask her. But pick her. Ah, <laughs> repeat. Anyway, we clearly see the sun is setting, but what's this blue sky in the next shot? That's it, Jeepers Creepers is ruined. One out of ten. They drive by old Jeepers Creepers, just casually throwing what looks to be wrapped up bodies down in a sewer pipe, you know, completely out in the open and not even listening for vehicles, so you know it could maybe not do that while people are driving by? The silly thing is too, we'll find out that the creature has been doing this for years and this is apparently the first time that anyone's seen it or decide to check into it. But first, this leads to pretty much the same scene with the Jeeper Creeper mobile as before, but this time they utterly fool him by going off the road into a fence. Where did they go? So yeah, unless that actually fooled him, Jeepers Creepers just wanted to have more road rage fun. Derry wants to go back and look in the pipe since it's a stupid plan and there's no way Creepers could just come back and throw them down the pipe too while they're doing that and after some more bitching with his sister because we aren't tired of that yet, he puts it in a way that really means something to her. What if it was you back there? Me? But I love me! Okay, let's go back! Aw, what a pretty pink sky. Perhaps for that you deserve at least 2 out of 10, and next thing is back to a normal blue sky. 0 out of 10, Jeepers Creepers. 0 out of 10. But when they drive a little closer, the pink sky is back. SUNSETS DON'T WORK THAT WAY! Now, seriously, uh, Phelan, you and Welsh, you gotta stop trying to shoehorn in that catchphrase for me. It's fucking stupid. Sorry, Chanos D1. Last time, promise. Also, minus one out of ten. Derry thinks he hears someone down there, so they come up with the stupidest plan possible. Trisha holding him by his ankle so he can look a little further down the pipe. If you don't see where this is going, well then... <sighs> Also, the sky is blue again during the pipe shots. Minus two out of ten. Seriously, though, the pipe looks like something you could brace yourself between the top and bottom and go down that way, which I think would be the preferable choice. Aha, uh -huh, kicking around sure is a good idea in that position. God, I am so sorry. Oh, I bet you are. I am, I don't know what happened. You were yeah, I don't think she'd hear a mumble from all the way down that pipe, but how can you blame her for dropping you when you were kicking around? Kinda did that one to yourself. 
And they were running at me too, Trish. Argue, argue, argue. It never gets old. Derry finds a body, which obviously surprises him. Derry unwraps the body to reveal a body, which obviously still surprises him, because who would have seen that coming? Jeepers Creepers has done some emergency surgery on this guy, but when surgery goes wrong, you gotta flush him down the sewer. Actually, Jeepers Creepers eats parts of people and then leaves them to die but also stitches them up first, because that makes sense. Derry tells Trish to flag down some help by the road, while of course not just plainly saying it's because someone just died down there, because that would save another little argument. Derry gets some blood dripping on his shoe, alluring him to the fact that Jeepers Creepers has done some human body decorating in here. Dead bodies stink, you stupid movie. He wouldn't need the blood drip to alert him of their presence. In fact, with that many down there, he'd be gagging on the smell. It looks like a crow made a forest sandwich.